Hello, welcome to Board Game TV. It's Terror Tuesday, and we're playing A Touch of Evil. Now, our characters are Jack Fellows, the privateer. Once per fight around, may reroll all of his missed to hit rolls. And those are his stats there. We have Adriana, foreign traveler. She may not use book or map items. During a fight, rolls fight dice and resolve any hits before opponents get to fight back. Pays one less investigation to look at the secrets of Town Elder, minimum one. Also may pay two investigation during a fight to force an opponent to re-roll one of their fight dice. This may be used multiple times. There are her stats. And Maria de la Rosa, the smuggler. <clears throat> Barter. Town items cost one less investigation to purchase, minimum of one. May use any secret passage printed on the board for free during her move rather than in place of her move. And those are her stats. And our bad guy is the headless horse, or I'm sorry, the spectral horseman. With an unquenchable thirst for revenge, the spectral horseman's ride through the colonies is eternal. That's pretty cool right there. I like that. At the end of any fight with the spectral horseman, he will ride the shortest route directly to town hall, engaging in one fight round against any hero moved over. The horseman does not take wounds during these fights. Instead, heroes gain one investigation for each hit they do to the horseman. These fights do not count as a showdown. Collect souls. Every time the spectral horseman kills a town elder, he gains a plus two wounds marker. The spectral com uh, horseman gains plus one combat against any hero with spirit less than four. Okay, two, three, and three. So we got to try to get our spirits up. Anytime the mystery card murder is played, the Spectral Horseman appears at the same random location as the investigation that merely moves using his Relentless Charge ability. Okay, he comes with some Bargast Hounds and some Ghost Soldiers. Okay, well let's go ahead and get started. I, I definitely want to get some spirit up, so we'll probably want to have people go to the church. And we're going to start with Jack. And he rolls a two. Well, that's okay. We'll send him to the church. He's going to draw an event. Pay to for play to force a hero minion to re-roll. Play to cancel any mystery card that is keyword death. That's fine. Okay, he has a four honor, so he's going to pay to investigation. Okay, and he got it. So we're going to give him a plus one spirit. So he's spirit force, so that's good. Let's go with Adriana. Well, she rolls a two. All right, so we'll send her there. She draws an event. Play when a town elder in D6. Play when a hero is KO'd. That hero does not have to lose any items, allies, for being KO'd. Okay. She's going to pay two. Let's see, she has an honor of four. All right, she was successful. So she's going to gain a spirit as well. Okay. And then Maria, she got a, well, uh, she's the least. Maybe she can get some items. Um, I'm going to send her to the abandoned keep first. One, two, three, four. She has to go there. So let's go ahead and grab this card. And this is collapse. Roll three dice. For every roll of one or two, take one wound and lose any one. Okay. Then encounter the abandoned keep again. Okay. Well. She rolls 1-1, one, one, so she's got to take one wound. She doesn't have any allies or anything to lose. All right. And she has to encounter the abandoned keep again, so let's... Sign of Dark Omen. Make a spirit 4 plus test and gain one investigation for every 4 plus rolled. Okay, she has a spirit of 2. Okay, she failed. All right. So we'll have to take a card from each location deck off the board. Okay, well, that, that's the end of that turn. Let's go ahead and do our bad guy's turn here. See what we get. Let's draw a mystery card here. Murder. All right, the villain. Okay, wait a minute now. I might can cancel that. Play to cancel any mystery card that is keyword death. All right, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead right off the bat and cancel that card. Okay, that <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, we don't have to move any track or nothing. So there we go. 
Okay, next turn, Jack. He needs to go to the windmill, so we'll send him one, two, three, four. And he gets um, Vial of Poison. Make an honor five plus test. All right, he has four honor. And he passes. If pass, gain three investigation. All right, we'll do. Okay, Adriana, she needs to try to get to the old woods. She rolls a four, so I guess she'll just go one, two, and one, two, three, four. And we'll end it there. And we need to get Maria. She rolls a two. That is not good. We'll get her back up here. And that's that's the end of the turn. Okay. Choices to be made. The player that drew this card, uh, that's going to be Adriano, must immediately choose one of the followings. This card, one ally, choose one town elder, no, take D3 wounds. Okay, she'll take D3 wounds. And she's got to take three wounds, and that is going to knock her out. So let's put Adriana back here. Um, we don't have to lose anything because we don't have nothing to lose. But we will have to move the shadow track here. Okay. And, uh, geez. And that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and start again. Jack goes. He rolls a one, so he's going to gain an event card. And plus two fight dice. Play to Brandon. Okay, well, that's fine. Adriana. All right, she goes six, one, two, three, four, five. She's at the old woods. Shallow grave, roll three dice. If devil's rolled, you are bitten by something and take one wound. Otherwise, take any item out of any discard pile. I don't have any discard pile, so. Three dice, no devils. So I do gain D6 investigation, which will be four. All right. And Maria will go. And she can get here to the church. She's going to draw an event. Choose a town elder. Fill one of those secrets. Okay. Yeah, all right. And she will spend her two investigation. And do an honor three test. And we got it. So she gains a plus one spirit as well. Okay. And that's the end of the turn. Let's draw a mystery card. Murder. Ah, oh, okay, well. All right, the villain is struck again. Place three investigation on the board at a random location. So let's figure out where we're going to do this at. South Dock. Okay, which is right here. Okay, move the shadow track closer. All right. Okay, and now uh, Spectral Horseman. Don't I have a token for him? I think I do. I have a token for him somewhere. Let me find that thing. Alright, so here's his charge. Now, if he does his charge to Town Hall, he will not encounter anybody. So, it's, it's not really going to affect anything. So there we go. And that's the end of the turn. Now it's Jack's turn. He rolls a two. He's at the blacksmith. He can draw an event. Play it. Play the mini pit. Okay. I only have two. I don't have any thing to do that with. Adriana. She rolls two, so she's gonna go one, two. We need to get her to the Forgotten Island. And her, she has no money, so we're going to get her out of here. One, two, three, four. And she will be at the covered bridge. She rolls a four, so she draws an event card. Play to look. Okay, well, all right, secrets here. And that's the end of the turn. So let's go ahead and draw a mystery card. Roll once on the villain's minion chart and work out the result. If the minion is rolled, place that minion at two extra locations as well. Oh. Okay, we got a five. That is not a minion. That is an event. The villain attacks. The hero must immediately resolve 
a single fight round with the villain. Instead of causing wounds, eat hit done to me. Blah, blah, blah. There are no heroes in this space. Okay. Okay, well, so let's figure out the space here. It's going to be the shipwreck. Alright, so there are no heroes in that space. Uh, place two investigation in that space. <clears throat> okay. Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. <clears throat> And that's it. Okay. So our hero's turn is Jack. He goes five. One, two, three, four, five. And he's at the crossroads. He rolls a six, so he's going to get an event. Okay. Adriana. Ah, she rolls a one. Yeah, so we'll move her one, but she does get an event. Okay, and Maria. She rolls a two, one, two. And she rolls a one, so we gotta draw a mystery card. The villain attacks, killing one of the town elders. Ah, man, roll a d6. Any town elder with spirit equal to the number is killed. Each hero gains two investigation. That is horrid. Two. One, two. Okay, <laughs> that was horrid. Okay, so let's see. We rolled a five. Anybody with spirit equal to five? It's her. Okay, so Sophie the midwife is killed. All right, so we have to move the shadow track two steps there. All right, now um, he's going to gain a plus two wounds marker because of that okay and we have to roll now since we've gone into a new phase we have to roll on the advanced mystery phase so we got a nine and that is unnatural storm a powerful supernatural storm is blown over the town immediately discard any mystery card and play this keyword weather we don't have any also, roll once on the villain's minion chart, re-rolling any non-event to see what the evil storm has brought. If the villain attacks during the storm, it does so at a random location. Okay. Well, I mean, we... <laughs> re-roll... Well, the only one is going to be the horseman rides tonight, so... So let's go see where he's going to be at, and that's going to be at the Smuggler's Cove. If there are no... Place two investigations, so we got to put two investigation there. And move the track one more step closer to darkness. Man, we're burning through that. Okay, heroes up. Jack. Okay, we gotta get him to the monastery. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Adriana. Okay, she can go to the Forgot Island. One, two, three. Shark, make a honor five plus test and gain. Okay, well, I have four honor. Okay, uh, I didn't. If failed, take d6 hits. All right, I failed. So I have to take five hits. That's going to kill me. If not KO'd, okay, I am KO'd, so I got to go to the end. I have to lose two investigation. And we move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. This game does not look like it is going to go very well. Okay, Maria. She rolls a two, one, two. Okay, let's see what we can do there. We can get an event. That's all right. Okay. And see, she's gonna to try to get those investigations. She has an honor of three. Okay, we got him. Okay. Well, that's the end of that turn. <laughs> Let's go ahead and draw a mystery card. Unwelcome. If Mayor Carver is still alive, he is. Uh, every hero must make an honor six plus test. Okay. Well, all right. So Jack has an honor four. He failed. And then he got a roll on the minions chart. So let's roll on the chart. And we rolled a three. And that is the ghost soldiers. And we got to put a ghost soldier 
on the town hall. That's not good. Okay. Alright, so she has an honor four. Adriana. She does not roll a six either. And she rolls a one, and that's a bar gassed hound. And we have to put one at the lighthouse. Okay, she uh, Maria has an honor of three. She rolled no sixes. And she has to do the event, which is uh, the horseman rides tonight. And he is at the covered bridge, which is here. There is no hero there. So we have to put two investigation there. And again, move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. And now we have crossed into a new territory. And here we go. Let's go ahead and roll on the chart. And we rolled an 11 that time. Possessed by madness. Each hero must immediately roll a d6 and add their honor. Who has the lowest must engage in a single fight round that has the highest. Each of these heroes. Okay. Alright, Jack. Six. Adriana. Eight. Seven. Alright, so Adriana and Jack have to fight each other. Okay. He has a combat of three. Okay. She has a combat of three. She goes first, actually. She hit him once. So he takes one wound. She takes no wounds. Let's see here. Gains one investigation. She's going to gain one investigation for each hit she did. She only did one. So that could have been worse. Okay. All right. Man. All right. Jack is up. And he's at the monastery. So he has done his monastery thing here. Make an honor five plus get. Oh, man. Honor five plus. All right. All right. He got... Uh, Two successes. So he gets four investigation. Okay. So he's he's done with that. And now I think he's going to try to buy something. So let's see here. We got a guide. Mm, holy water. A guide. I'm going to buy the holy water. Costs three. So he has that. Okay, next up is Adriana. Before encounter, gain two investigation or heal one wound. To gain, well that's before encounter, she's rolling. She rolls a five. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we can try to gain some investigation there. She rolls a two, great. We gotta do a mystery card. Roll once on the villain's chart and place a minion on the board at the random location. All right, what's the event? Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. Okay, so we have this again, and it's going to be at the fields. There's nobody there, so we're going to put two more investigation on the fields, and we have to move the shadow track again one step closer to darkness. This is not going very well. Okay, but now she can do her honor. And she has honor of four. Let's see if we can get any of those investigation. Yes. Wow. All right. She's doing very well on that. And Maria. Well, one, two. All right. She's going to heal one wound. And she's going to do the in. And all right. Plus one spirit. That is good. That's four spirit now. So that's actually really good. And that's it for her. So that's the end of the turn. Let's draw a mystery card. The player who drew this card must choose any ally to join the villain. The ally loses the game and now is treated as an evil elder. Okay, that's fine. All right, Jack's going to go. And he rolls a two. I'm just going to move him here. He draws an event. <clears throat> okay. And he's going to try to get some investigation. 
All right, he got both of them there. Okay, Adriana. She can go five. One, two, three, four, five. She's trying to get to the Smuggler's Cove. And Maria can roll six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the end of the turn. Let's do a mystery phase. Roll a d6 for each space on the board. That is marsh, bog, or swamp. On that, on a roll of five, place a drowned dead minion there. All right. All right, we don't have to for that. The marsh. Okay, let's put a drowned dead minion on the bog. And... That's it. Okay. All right. Jack's going to go. Ah, he rolls a two. So he's stuck there. He's going to go to the Forgotten Island. Let's have an encounter there. Well, look at that. That's pretty good. Okay. Adriana. Well, that's two for her. One, two. Ah. And Maria. Ha, ah, two, man. One, two. Okay, let's draw a mystery card. At the start of each mystery... F oh, my goodness. Including this one. Ah. Oh. Okay, so until... Do I have anything to get rid of that? That means I'm going to have to roll on that freaking chart every single round. And that is basically very bad. No, I don't have anything to stop that. So let's go ahead and roll on that chart. And we roll a 10. <clears throat> Ambush in the night. Every hero must roll a d6 and add their cunning. Whoever is immediately attacked by the victim's minions. Okay. <clears throat> so Jack. Has a five. Adriana has a four. Okay, so Adriana is attacked by <coughs> a ghost soldier. She has to use her spirit, which is four, and she gets to go first. Okay, well, all right. Let's see. Okay. And. They, all right, she didn't kill it. They get double their fight dice, which is going to be six. Eee, okay. Wow. All right, so that's it. And take a couple wounds. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do the start of the turn, Jack. All right, he can go two, three, Four. Where's he got to go? Lighthouse? Five. Yeah. Adriana. Three. All right. She can finally get to Smuggler's Cove. Let's see what she finds here. Draw a random location. location. Discard this key anywhere to force... Okay. That's fine. And she's going to try to get that as an investigation. There. She gets one. Okay. And Maria. Well, she rolls a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. All right, that's finally good. Roll once on the Vinion's, Vinion's menu chart and work out the result. All right, so we got some ghost soldiers. They're going to go at the Smuggler's Cove. Well, that is not very good. And she's going to try to get the investigation. All right, she got it, both of them. Now, you know what? I forgot to get the... I forgot to be moving the bar gas town, but that's fine. Well, no, that's right. We won't, we won't have to. All right, so... It is now the mystery phase. And at the start, we have to roll on that chart. So let's go ahead and roll on that chart. We roll the three. Curse Village, immediately draw and resolve one mystery card for each hero starting... Oh my god. So we're going to have to draw three mystery cards. Now that replaces the mystery cards for that turn. Alright, first one. 
If Magistrate Croft is still alive, okay, he is guns. Well, we don't have to get rid of that. That's a good one. Every hero must immediately roll whoever rolls a single fight round with the villain. Okay, deadly encounter. Three for Jack, six for Adriana. All right, so Jack has to have an encounter with the villain. So let's see, he has a combat of three. That is not very good. All right, one hit. And of course, the villain has a combat of five. Oof, okay, two hits. That's going to knock him out, actually. Do I, can I prevent that? Uh. <sighs> no, I cannot. I cannot. So he's going to get knocked out, and he has to go here to the town square. We move one step closer on the shadow track. And he gets one investigation for the hit, but he has to lose five. Okay. All right. That was the second card. And the third card is she's Lady Hambrook. She's still alive. This card, one item or ally, and immediately move to the crossroads. Okay. Well, that sucks because that means. Okay. So. He's actually knocked out, so it won't affect him. Uh, all right. Well, she has to get rid of the key. Oh, man, and there goes her... That thing. Okay. And that's three cards. That's actually pretty good. No, <laughs> didn't get too bad. And that is the end of the turn. All right, so... Hill Jack, let's see where he's gonna go. We're gonna try to get back to the lighthouse. One, two. Okay, um, I'm gonna have Adriana. Oh, she rolled a one. I want her to go here. Let's buy some stuff. So, roll a one. She gets an event. Okay, that's not bad. And then Maria, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, she's gonna draw an event. Okay, she's plus one cunning. And now she's going to buy some some stuff here. Torch, Captain of the Watch. Ooh, man, that's some good stuff. And I don't have the money. Three, four, five, six. If I had one more investigation, is there a card that she can play? All right, actually, okay, let's do Shocking Discovery because she can gain some investigation from this. Choose a town elder. Okay, I'm going to choose Lady Hambrook as a little secret. So she's going to gain two investigation for that. Okay, that means she has eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the items cost her one less, so she will buy the musket. Okay. Now we have to roll on the mystery fake chart and we get a nine. All right. Immediately discard any mystery card and play as keyword weather. We don't have that. Roll once on the minions chart. Six. Okay. So ah, the horseman's going to ride. He's going to the doctor's office. There's nobody there. So we have to put two investigation there. Okay. We have to move. This now moves here because we have to move the shadow track one step closer to darkness and we have to roll again. And we got a six. Every minion in the bar to is to alert to a town hall. If there are no minions, okay, well, one, two. Okay, so he's got to fight the bar gassed hound. Uh, at the start of each mystery phase, moves up to two spaces towards the nearest hero. Oh man, you know what? I've been messing that up. I've been forgetting about that. Okay, so I've kind of messed that up, but that's fine. We're going to fight. And then he's going to move one, two. He's already at Town Hall. All right, so we're going to have a fight. He has four fight dice. 
Jack has three fight dice. Okay, Jack actually did two wounds. He took one. So he kills he kills it because they only have two wounds. He gets four investigation. So the Barghast Hound is dead. Now, when it's defeated, we have to roll a D6. And on a roll of four plus, he must immediately put it back in another space. But we got a three so we can get rid of the hound. Okay, so the hound is off the board. <coughs> okay. Now we have to do the mystery card. Draw a random location. See where lightning strikes. The N. Okay. Place three investigation there. Okay. And move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. Okay. Alright. It's the end of the turn. Let's go, Jack. He moves two to the lighthouse. Make a cunning five plus test. Okay, pass. Gain two investigation for each five plus roll, which is two. Gain two investigation. Okay. This is going to gain four more investigation. So he's got good money. And the lighthouse is done. Okay. Let's go. we got to start getting a layer pretty soon, man, or we're going to be in trouble. Okay, Adriana moves two spaces. I got to get her to the doctor's one, two. Actually, let's try to get some more investigations. Let's see. All right, five. So she's going to gain an event. Okay, that's good. And she's going to go for the investigation. She gains one. Okay, and then Maria, she rolls a six. Okay, she has no money because she just spent all her money. So I couldn't do anything anyway. So I want to get her to the doctor's office. So we'll send her to the doctor's office. She's going to draw an event. Play to cancel any card that's huge keyword. Okay, we're going to play this. Reassuring speech. Any town space. Move the shadow track D three steps. Okay, I get to move it three and I gain six investigation. That was a great card. One, two, three. That was an excellent card. And then we're going to try to get some those investigation. And she gets one. Okay. And that is it. Let's roll on the chart. Four. Roll a d6. Any town elder gains one. Town is three more under. Okay. Roll a d6. One. Honor equal to or less than roll. Does anybody have an honor of one? Yep, she does. He does. All right, so this is what's going to happen. She's going to gain a secret. He's going to gain a secret. And then we have to reveal them now because they're automatically revealed. So let's see. No effect. No effect. If Flitz should join an evil elder. God dang it. Okay, so he is now an evil elder. <sighs> okay, and now we have to do the mystery card. A wave of the villain's minions roll. Five, we have to re-roll. Four. We have to keep rolling. Two. So we have some ghost soldiers. At three locations. Okay, well, I only have two. So that means the shadow track is going to move one step closer. So we're putting one at the windmill. And we're putting one at the north dock. And. 
Well, actually, I do have. I have another one. And one at the icy waters. Okay. And we put two investigation on each location. Two. Two. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah, okay, here. Okay, and that is it for that turn. Okay. Alright, I need to get her spirit up. So, Jack is going... I need to get him some items, too. He rolls a two. That is not very good. Adriana, five. Okay, we're going to send her... One, two, three. She's going to go to the blacksmith. Okay, she's going to immediately gain two investigation. And now she will shop. Actually, she's going to heal first. Well, actually, I could send her to the doctor's office to heal next turn. And then that's it. That's We got to do that. All right, so town items. Herbs. Tools. Ah. Okay, I buy the herbs for three. And then I'll use the herbs to heal my wounds. And that was not very good. I need to get some items here. Okay. And then Maria. Ah, she rolls a one. That's where we need to go. She gets a event. Okay, I'm gonna play this to try to cancel that card on a three plus, and I got it. So that card is now canceled. We're done. She gets another event. Yeah. Okay. And now she's gonna try to get her spirit back up. She does. She pays two investigation, and she is plus two spirit now, so she's good. And that's the end of the turn. Let's draw a mystery card. Dr. Manning, he is. Why he's alive, any here on the doctor's at the start of the mystery phase. Okay. He is not dead, so. Okay. That's pretty good, and we don't have to roll on that chart. So, let's see what we're going to do. I want to go one more round, try to buy some stuff, and then we're going to focus on a layer card here. Okay, so Jack, he's going here to the town square. And you're going to have a village encounter. You may fully heal or gain D6 investigation. Alright, um, let's gain some investigation, that's three. Okay, and let's see what he's going to buy. Uh, compass, ah, dueling pistol. Oh man, you may now use honor instead of combat. Well, his honor is better than that, but I mean, that's not. Crap, okay, well, I'm going to have to do the herbs. Not what I want. I'm not getting the items I need because we're just not strong enough to fight. Adriana. Okay. Uh, let's move her. I don't know. Um. We still need some items for her. Okay, we're going to stay there, so let's roll to linger. Okay, that's fine. Event. Play at any time to search the event and discard pile and take any play immediate card. Or play to immediately move to any other hero space. Hmm. Uh, I think I'll keep it. We'll stay there. And she's going to shop again. Book? No. No. 
Okay, she found a pistol. Cost her five. It's fine. Alright. And now Maria. She moves there. She draws an event. Okay. Let's see what she can buy. Got the jacket. The old map. Okay, the pistol. So she'll take the pistol for four. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She doesn't need to buy anything. Why did I send her there? Oh, well, I screwed up. Okay, I didn't... <laughs> I'm not buying anything. I... But I know there's a pistol. If I could send Jack there, well, I don't know, it's a little risky. Alright, let's 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 go ahead and draw a mystery card. This card plays on the villain. At the start of each mystery phase, put a marker on this card. When there are three markers here, immediately move them to add plus one wound marker to the villain. And move the shadow track two step closer to darkness. God, man, can I get rid of that? Oh, man. Okay, I can I can do this. Okay, so I got a four, so I can get rid of that card. Okay, all right, it's the hero's turn. Jack. Okay, not moving him. Well, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna move him six. One, two, three, four, five. Six, because I know what's up here, and I want to get some stuff there. He's at the crossroads. Ah, he rolls a two. It's a mystery card. When this card is in play, any hero at the end of a mystery phase must roll a d6. On the roll of one or two, a hero's attack draw haunting. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead with uh, Adriana. One, two, three. All right, she gets an event. Okay. And now she's going to buy a layer card, which cost us three. But she's going to do that. So uh, a layer is at the old woods. Okay, so it's like right around there. At the start of this shadow run, you may make a spirit for every success you gain plus five. All right, okay, that's not a bad one. All right. And then she's going to go, she moves four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's the end of the turn. While this, all minions and werewolves are plus one combat. When adding, okay, that's fine. That, that one's not a bad one. Wait, does it say this is any time kills? Okay, he doesn't kill him. He's joined him. All right. All right, let's go, Jack. Six. That's a good roll. One, two, three, four, five. Let's draw an event. Okay. Now he's going to buy. Okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do her um, honor. So let me try to get that. Yes, okay, she got it. All right, um, okay, so he, you know he's gonna buy. So we know that there's a pistol in here, he's gonna pay five for it. So let's do that, and that's the end of his turn. <clears throat> okay, Adriana, all right, well, she's gonna gain an event. All right, she's moving to the old woods, and where she's gonna pay? Ah, that's not Adriana. It's Maria. She moves one. Okay. 
Okay, that's it. All right. Now it's Maria. Okay, she's going to the old woods. Maria is now going to pay the showdown cost. So she's going to pay. She gets two back because it costs three. Adriana is going to join her. And it's going to cost her three. And Jack is going to join them. And it's going to cost him three. Okay, so at the start of the showdown, well, okay, before we do that, let me see. Um, okay, play to immediately peek at the secrets. Okay, of a town elder without revealing them. Okay, um. Okay. Alright, so we know he's good. So we might want to get him. Alright. <clears throat> Accusation. At the start of a showdown, to reveal any one town elder, see if this causes them to become <clears throat> gain six investigation. It's not, because <clears throat> we know, <clears throat> excuse me. It has no effect. So he will now join our party. Okay, and I think I may have another card. Ah, oh, yes, I have this other brilliant deduction. Who else do I want? Who else is really good? Okay, yeah, Lord Hambrook. Shit. Okay, I can peek at it. That's right. It doesn't say reveal immediately, so I was able to peek at it without revealing. So, we know he's evil, so it looks like we'll, we're not going to be going after trying to get him. Let's see. Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Choose a town elder. Okay, so who else do we want to look at? Well... She has two. I don't want to risk it. Okay. He's evil. So, we peeked at that one. <clears throat> Unfortunately, for us... That means he gets revealed. Because that was the thing of the card. We have to reveal it. <coughs> so he is evil. And he's a problem too. Because we have to move the shadow track one step closer to darkness each fight round. So that's terrible. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Okay, search for the truth, I might play. I should have played that first. That was a mistake on my part. We knew he was evil, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. She has, uh, she has too many. All right. So let's see. Reveal immediately. Okay, and no effect. Okay, so we'll get Lady Hambrook. Those secrets aren't going to matter. So she's with us. Okay. Okay, and we'll pay the cost. I am Maria pay the cost to get her. Okay. So here we go. We're in a showdown. <laughs> the horseman is really propped up. I don't think we're going to win, to be honest with you. But here we go. Okay. So Jack is going to go. 
he has a combat. All right, they add their cunning to their combat. So I'm gonna let him play. Okay, so he's gonna get. He has four combat. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Four combat. And then I get to add three more for the cunning. And then I can play game plus two for each other hero in attack. So I can gain, I can do this. Two, four. I can get play these two and get eight more. And I have the vial of holy water. Oh, and then plus two more for the cunning. Okay. So I know this is crazy. This I don't have a shitload of dice. Okay, so let's see here. If revealed while the Buddha shot one of them closed at the start of each showdown fight round. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. The horseman's gonna get plus one combat. And then we have to roll on the chart real quick. Eight. Draw around and place some green investigation there. One step darkness and Mr. Card murder. Okay, and then it's gonna have to go. Alright. Okay. Now this is just without first things first. I'm gonna discard my vial of holy water and I'm gonna do D6 hits because he's a ghost. And I rolled a four. So two four. Okay. Then Wow, that was a really good roll. And I can re-roll any fight dice rolls. So I can re-roll all these. Okay, that's really good. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. I'm gonna put one hit on the good doctor because I want to get rid of this stupid card. So he's dead. So that's take that one out, and the good doctor is dead. So let's put him over there. Okay. I'll put one hit on uh, the other guy, the other town elder. So he's gone. Okay. So that leaves me five hits right there. So that's two and three. Okay, now I get to roll eight more dice because of those two teamwork cards because I get plus two fight dice for every hero of my space. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, see, once per fight round. Well, I only hit him twice. Okay, but that's two more wounds. Okay, now, I do get to do this. I make a spirit five plus test. So I have a spirit of four. I actually have a spirit of six. Okay, and for every five plus, I gain plus one fight dies during the first round of a showdown. All right, so I got two more. Ah, I didn't do anything. Okay, now he's going to attack me. So he has a combat of six. And let's see, does it say, uh, yeah, despite again against any hero is less than spirit four. Well, that's fine. Okay, he hit me twice, and I'll just take those wounds. Okay. Next up, it's Adriana. Let's see if she has. She has a combat of four. We're going to add our cunning. There's going to be three more. Okay. 
All right. So this is all the attack she gets. And then we'll do her spirit thing in a second. Okay, well she got three hits. And then let's do her spirit thing. She has a spirit of four. For every five plus, she didn't get anything there. Okay, so she does three hits. Okay. Now he's going to get to go. Okay, you got three hits on her. However, we're going to play this. We can prevent one wound. So she's going to take two wounds. Okay. Now it's Maria's turn. She has a combat of four. Okay. Uh, play during a fire round game. <clears throat> They're in a fight round again for each dead town elder. Okay. We have actually. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot to do this here. Plus two fight dice. Okay. So we're going to gain two more fight dice. All right, man, she missed. Okay. But Reverend Harding has been killed because one of those hits would have hit her. Yep. So Reverend Harding is dead. So we just two. Okay. And uh that's one town elder dead, two town elders dead, four town elders dead. So eight more dice. So she's gonna get eight dice. Okay. Start with that one. All right, we did three hits. Okay. All right, and then she gets her regular attack. Okay, which she has a combat of five. And then she can do her spirit thing in a minute too. Okay, well that was really good. That's three more hits. So that's four. Okay. And then we're going to get to do this. Spirit five, which has a spirit of four. Okay, she got one success. That's one more hit. Okay, so now the Spectral Horseman is at 15 damage. Now he has, it's six times three, so that's 18. <clears throat> he has 18 health. Okay, but he's going to get to go now. So uh, he rolls his six. He gets two hits. Okay. So he's going to kill Lady Hambrook. And then she gets to ignore the hit, but this is going to move two, and he's going to get another extra combat. But I think we can kill him this round. Okay, so it's Jack's turn. <coughs> uh, Jack has got two wounds. Jack may end up dying, but... Okay, Jack has a combat of four. He misses completely. <clears throat> okay, this guy has a combat of seven. And wow, he's gonna kill Jack. Yep, he kills Jack. Hold on, first thing I can re-roll. Oh, dang it, I forget I can re-roll all of my missed hits. Okay, well, alright, so Jack is dead. Jack could not. Jack is dead. Jack is gone. This moves one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's her turn. She gets to attack first. She has a combat of four. Okay. 
Okay, she did two wounds. That's 17. Oof. Okay. Okay, he hit twice. Okay, however, I don't have an ally. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe I can do one of these play immediately cards here. Let me see if there's something I can do. Okay. She's KO'd. She's out. So she's dead. So we have to move the shadow track one more. So this is it. It's up to her. Four wounds. We get five to attack. We need to do one more hit on this guy. We're going to do one more hit. We kill him. We did one more hit. There we go. We killed him. Now, however, though, he is going to get to attack. So let's see if we can stay alive. Okay, two hits. And we get to roll one more die. That's a miss. Okay, so Maria kills the Spectral Horseman and stays alive. Jack and Adriana died, on the other hand, though. Okay, well, you know, that, that was a lot closer. I thought I was going to kind of run away with it when I got all them massive attacks at that one point. But boy, did he come back on us. You know, he came back on us real good. But uh, in the end, we won. So we beat the Spectral Horseman. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you next time when we play a new villain on Touch of Evil. Until then, have fun.